Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A sunset by Manila Bay. I've taken this over probably over 15 years ago. It's purple. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Hebrews 6 verse 12. It says our great desire is that you will keep on loving others as long as life lasts in order to make certain that what you hope for will come true. Here's my poem. Making certain dreams come true. What are the dreams that you've hoped for? Do they make you closer to God and faithful? For wishes to become true Keep on believing to realize them. You also need to keep on loving. Walk in love for as long as life lasts. It is a secret to fulfilling dreams fast. Living a life full of love makes anything possible. Satisfying self, fish, pleasures makes it improbable. Here's my essay. What dreams have come true for you already? What other wishes have not come to fruition yet? When I was three years old, I was captivated by paintings and wished I was a painter. That dream didn't come true until I was 32 years old. What took it that long? I was living in rebellion and disobedience many years of those early era of my life. When I decided to turn to God again at age 29 and became celibate and more loving to those around me, he made the impossible dream come true. I became a self-taught, or rather God-taught painter. I sold over 75 artworks by the time I had my very first solo exhibit. Our dreams will be realized if we keep on loving others. Prayer. Lord, help me to never live out of love. Reflection. What dreams are being hindered to happen because of your unloving ways? Uh, I think a dream that uh, my marriage will be a marriage of unity, sp spiritual intimacy, and um, bonded together is uh, still not happening because sometimes I could be controlling and sometimes I want things to happen the way I want it and that's not God's plan. I think the reason why I was put in this relationship is because God wants me to learn patience, gentleness and understanding. and. I may be loving at times, but uh, because of um, trauma issues that I experienced in my past, and I'm still a work in progress, so I know God has healed me a lot in terms of my trauma triggers, but uh, when I get hungry, angry, lonely, and tired, remember that, HALT, H-A-L-T, hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. When you are in this state, you are very vulnerable to the enemy. It's so easy for you to, to be tempted. So I become unloving when, um, when my husband starts to blame me. And I know that I'm not the one to be blamed for. And then I become feel that spirit of entitlement that I'm entitled to be treated well, which I should be. And yet, even Jesus himself didn't have that entitlement. Even though he knew that he was, he was um, the son of God, when he was being maltreated, he didn't say a thing. And oftentimes, I don't resort to that. I usually have something to say. I'm so opinionated. A lot of times, and my opinions doesn't usually count because what really counts is what God thinks. So, 
I invite you to take a look at all the dreams that um, and the wishes and, and the requests that you've been praying to God for. Why do you think it's not happening? Is there some unloving ways that you have been dealing with in your life and is this the one that's hindering or blocking you from um, accepting the reality of that dream? So thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Thanks for all those who prayed for me. I'm feeling so much better today and I think um, the asthma and the sinus uh, problems are gone already. I've been containing myself in the house for the last week so hopefully it doesn't get aggravated when I get out and all the allergens are in the air. Thanks for watching again. Remember, God loves you so much, and so do I.